All right, I'm gonna be unboxing the nine inches and uh, taking a listen to them, trying out the software and just seeing how good they are. I've been kind of pessimistic about, uh, you know, headsets, gaming headsets and that sort of thing. Uh, but historically, I've preferred the Steel Series stuff, so let's see how these are. All right, there we go. All right, and here we've got Steel Series sticker, 9H book with, uh, you know, stuff that tells you how everything works. There's a removable cord system here that they've got. They've got all these different options, and there's even a little sound card in here. There it is. Hey, that is extremely soft. That's like... Wow. Uh, this is the same thing on like the Mayflower version 3s. So I'm going to set these aside and just look at the cables and then we'll come back to the uh, headphones themselves. Check it out. Here's the different uh, audio connectivity options. First off, starting here, this is the cord that goes into the headset. Um, you plug this in, you've got your mute for your microphone, and um, then you have options after that. You can either use this, this is a little USB device, and the benefit of using this is if you wanted to take advantage of the, uh, the simulated surround sound or the software surround sound, you can use this. And uh, we also have some extra ports here. So if you wanted to hook up an additional headset on top of this one or, you know, a set of headphones and a microphone, an external microphone, you have that option here. This is basically going to bypass your internal sound and uh, act as its own sound card. If you need a little extra length, we've got this here. Uh, it's going to give you, you know, an extension. Then over here, let's say you don't want to use the USB, you just get rid of the USB. You can just plug this in to either the extension or the, the cable that goes straight into the, uh, the headset. And then this becomes microphone and just, you know, standard speaker or, you know, headphone jack right there. It's an eighth inch jack. And then the last thing you've got, let's say you're using like an, uh, you know, iPad, iPhone, uh, smaller device, tablet, maybe even, even some of the newer laptops out there that use one plug for everything. This one here will do microphone and headphones all with one plug. So you can use that one and that plugs straight into either the extension or the, the cable here with the, you know, the mic mute and everything. So you've got a lot of different options. One of the softest foams I've felt, and this is leather on top and we've got the nice stitching there. I'm trying to find a mess in the stitching, but it looks like a really good job as far as the stitching goes. On top, um, this, is, this is fabric here on top and this is also very cushioned. These are very sealed and they, they do not you know, lay down flat. This is as far as they turn. Uh, we can extend them here and this is metal right here, this bit. And that's also metal inside. So there's a metal band that goes through these. And again, very closed. I mean, extremely closed. They, they say it's double isolation. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try them on and see how they sound. Uh, but they're supposed to really isolate the sound. So take a look at the top here. We got the Seal Series logo across the top. You can get a good, a good look in there of the, the fabric, covering up those large 50 millimeter drivers. All right, here's where you plug in all those different cords. Plug them in right there. And right here, this is our microphone. It, and it's flexible. It's shaped in a way that when you put it back, it kind of conceals itself. Let me go ahead and slide this back in. And I put it back in there. Get in there. There, now it, it goes with the contour of the ear cup. So I've used these for a couple days and I played video games for about three or four hours with the community last night. We played some uh, Trouble in Terrace Town. I played some Quake Live. Uh, played some um, The Wolf Among Us. So I've, I've used them in games and I've uh, used them the entire time I was editing uh, the Steel Series Siberia Elite video. And I, I had these on for like five and a half to six hours yesterday. No discomfort whatsoever. I found these to be more comfortable in my opinion than the uh, Siberia Elites. And at one point I forgot what headset I had on. I was wearing these and I was like, I thought that I was wearing my Biodynamics. They are not as comfortable as the Biodynamic uh, DT880s, but they are comfortable enough that you forget that you're wearing them. And there's, uh, they're also deep enough that they don't, you know, hit the uh, ear. I hate when the ear like starts to hit the inside of the, uh, you know, the padding where the drivers are. That kind of irritates me. So they are extremely comfortable. I've already completely covered the software, so it would be ridiculous and stupid to do all that again. So what I'm gonna do is force you to click on the screen right here to go look at the video of the uh, Siberia Elites. The software is virtually the same, and I explain it there. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna try out uh, the surround sound in-game, and I'm gonna compare that to the headphone mode in-game. In so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hop into Gary's Mod with Pistol, and she's gonna run around me twice, and you guys will see what happens. Uh, but this is also going to uh, be the microphone test because I would, I'm going to be using this microphone while we're doing that. So watch for the microphone quality and, uh, you know, just check out 
the um, software surround versus just straight up headphone mode and you guys can be the judge of it. Okay, I've opened up Gary's mod. I'm just gonna go into a, a server and uh, let pistol run circles around me and shoot with this turned on and off just to see you know, how well we can hear it with and without this on. I'm gonna uh, find a game. She's local, I think, local network. All right, should, should appear here. There we go. Okay, that is in the uh, surround sound mode now. I'm going to turn off surround sound mode and go to headphone mode. Off, save, options, and headphones, apply, and go ahead and run around again. If I close my eyes, I can still pretty well pinpoint her. It's just, it's louder and there's not a lot of uh, echo or anything like that, but you know, it's up to you which one you like better. I'm probably going to be playing like this. I like stereo, and these things actually do, uh, you know, the 9 inch actually does sound really good, so. The headphone frequency response is 10 to 28,000 hertz. Uh, the impedance is 32 ohms, even though the box says 29 ohms, and uh, they're pretty easy to drive. I mean, you can hook, up, hook them up to pretty much anything. The cables are all detachable, and uh, the, you know, the regular cable is 1.2 meters, but there's also a two meter extension cable, and I did some long subtraction, and it's 3.2 meters in total. The frequency response range on the microphone is 50 to 16,000 hertz. It's a uh, unidirectional mic, and there is um, some software noise cancellation stuff that goes on in the software. <laughs> And the mic impedance is 2K ohms. And the sensitivity is negative 37, give or take three decibels. As the software in my experience has not been buggy, has not crashed my system like some other softwares out there. So that's, that's a good thing. So I tested it out with the uh, USB, and I'm also gonna test it out here with the O2 headphone amp DAC from Mayflower. Plugging it in there, and we're gonna try it out. If the game is off, this is uh, down to start, and we'll come up and try to, you know, see how it's in. Let's get down to it and talk about the actual sound quality. I have absolutely zero complaints about the sound quality in games, and um, this it might be my new favorite gaming headset as far as uh, music goes. Um, the music, the bass is very full, and the treble is very full. They're not as flat as like um, you know a DT880 or, or the Sony 70, uh, 7506s that I have. There, the you know the frequency response is not quite flat. You have um, louder bass. And the bass is more toward the mid-range, you know, like the lower bass uh, is kind of disappearing, but it's it's very full, like more full than the other headsets. So it, it, you do feel a lot more bass. That can be good for, you know, gaming when you have explosions and that sort of thing. Uh, the bass is not quite as tight as some of the more expensive pairs of headphones out there, but it could be really good if you're someone who likes electronic music or rap or something like that. You're probably going to love these. The other thing that's interesting is a lot of times when you have a headset like this that's really bassy, um, you, you, uh, it kind of drowns out the high ends, but what they've done is they've also given us a lot of, um, a lot of high end. So metal does sound very good on these because um, there's just, they're just you know, really clean treble and there's a lot of bass. So you get uh, you know, both of those things. And uh, as far as complaints go in music, even with the EQ flat, it did sound really, really good. You don't quite have as big of a sound stage as you would with um, you know some other sets of more expensive headphones out there because and these are also you know pretty closed um so when you have them on everything does seem a little close but i don't know hell i thought they sounded really really good for a gaming headset and they sound very good when you compare these to similarly priced headphones steel series has done a very good job uh, with the sound quality on these even with the acoustic music acoustic guitars and mandolins you could hear you know nuances that you normally wouldn't hear with a gaming headset so very good job, guys. I'm impressed. And it's very difficult to impress me, and I'm going to be a little bit more strict this year uh, when it comes to uh, gaming headsets, because I'm kind of going the headphone route. But um, the main thing that I think that I want to drive home with this is that if you're someone who's looking in around, around this price range, um, if, you, if you've got a little bit more money to spend, you can probably get an external DAC solution, a set of headphones, and a mod mic for the side, and possibly be better off. However, this is all contained. Um, you've got your mic right here, you know, it's very comfortable, very well built, you know, quality materials, um, and it sounds really, uh, sounds really good. So 
if you're someone who doesn't want to mess around with all that stuff, you just want to play your games, you can get this and not have to worry about buying extra accessories and be done. If you guys uh, have questions, comments, want to talk about stuff, click on the link, it takes you to the forum, and uh, that's where we all hang out and talk. And if you guys enjoy these videos or, you know, if they have enriched your life, you can become a member of Tech Support and help us make more awesome videos. In fact, this year we've got some big plans, so hopefully everything will, will work out. We'll see you guys next time. Now, I've already covered the software completely. I mean, you can, you can tell the difference in like leather and pleather, I feel. I mean, these are like leather. Sometimes. Tastes like cow. <laughs>